Now, from text dot to county leaders, everyone is on alert ahead of this winter weather. New tonight, we've learned at least one county plans to open emergency shelters in case people lose power. 12 News reporter Jordan James continues our live team coverage. Jordan, what are some of the other preparations? Yeah, Jordan, just like a hurricane in the summer, a winter storm requires cooperation between local and state entities. County leaders want you to know that that cooperation is already happening. Some of the coldest weather in years should arrive Monday and Tuesday. I like the cold weather to a certain point. Um, the freezing in the snow, I'm not excited about. With the possibility of freezing rain, sleet, and ice in the forecast. Beaumont resident Lyric Rita is planning on staying home as much as possible. I just hate that the roads get icy because it's dangerous because people don't know how to drive in rain. So ice is way worse. Leading up to next week's weather, county leaders are finalizing contingency plans. We're not in panic mode, I guess is, is a good thing to say. Mike White, Jefferson County Emergency Management Coordinator, says their plan consists on monitoring conditions and informing the public about how to stay safe. An inch of ice would be a lot. If we got a quarter inch of ice, I would recommend not being out on the road um, if you don't have to. For safety's sake, people should stay home and not travel. Over in Orange County, they're taking a different approach. I road bridge crews are geared up um, to uh, put sand out on the, on the bridges and that sort of thing. Emergency Management Coordinator Joel Ardwin says they're also looking into opening three emergency shelters and the county's vaccine hubs will be closed on Monday. Uh, could be life-threatening for folks that might be exposed to those elements. So that's why, you know, if it does continue in that direction and we get to that point, we would stand those up. Over the next few days, more information about shelter and closures will be coming out. So be sure to stick with 12 News for the latest information. Reporting here live in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.